we're back um, having another look at the 2UC gearbox. Uh, you will have noticed that I shot a specific gear, a specific video on the Gardner gearboxes some time ago, and uh, I hope you've watched that. Uh, if you have, you'll remember that I explained that you can only change gear in this gearbox using a massive, a dirty, great big gear stick here, and you had to have muscles of a horse to pull it back and forward. Um, now, some years ago, we designed uh, an electro-hydraulic system for changing gear on the on the two UC. It was simple; uh, you could simply change gear by moving a toggle, a little electrical toggle up on up on your dash. It simplified the whole process and took all the all the exhaust and manpower out of changing gear. Um, so I just thought I would like to. We shot a video of that, but it hasn't been featured on my official channel. So I just thought I would like to do that. Um, I'd like you to go off now and take a look at that video. I think you'll find it really quite interesting. Uh, in the meantime, I'll wait here. And whenever you come back, I'll have more news for you. Okay, now the gearbox is in neutral. First, we're going to go ahead. Then we go back to neutral. And then we go astern. As you can see, it's very simple. Okay, now you can see that she's in neutral because this light is on. Normally this light would be white. We've got the wrong colour of bulb in it, but we fixed that. So that's ahead, back to neutral, and that's a stern. So simple. Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed that. Now, that wee toggle system works quite well. But the disadvantage of it is, is like a lot of things in life, the operator has to think. He has to feel his way forward. He has to keep the toggle forward until the green light comes on and he knows that the gearbox is astern. Equally so, he has to feel his way back to get neutral and feel his way back further back to get astern. So that's fine, handy enough done. But sometimes if you're in a harbour, in a tricky place, trying to manoeuvre you know, a largest boat, it can be a wee bit um, trying. So we've come up with the idea, and we're working on this now currently at the minute, of an improvement. Um, what we plan to do is we plan to use a tiny little um, um, process controller, a tiny little Raspberry Pi. That's it there on that chip there. It's absolutely tiny. It's only little more than a centimeter square. Now, the advantage of this is the Pi will do the thinking for you. All you'll do is you'll just simply hit the green button the Pi will say, ah, he wants to go ahead, and it'll bring the gearbox ahead until it knows it's locked in, in position. Equally so, if you hit the white button, it'll automatically come back into neutral. There'll be no thinking involved. And I think this will, will really, it will really make life a lot sweeter for people using these uh, big, heavy gearboxes. I'm really very excited about that. So I hope to have a video of that. Um, really, um, not too far in the future. We're still working on it at the minute. We still need the we still need the electric motor. We still need a hydraulic pump and so on. Now another idea that we're working on at the minute is to use the Raspberry Pi to monitor uh, exhaust temperature and oil pressure, at least those two parameters on a Gardner engine. Uh, now we're we're further up the road on that, and I hope to have a video on that really quite soon. So. I hope you're looking forward to that. Thank you so much for for um, tuning in. See you all again soon.